What's up, y'all? It's Young Shen. And if you're watching Cloud Cloud, y'all better subscribe to him. That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> young Shen is a young woman from Virginia, the 757, who is really ambitious, um, who doesn't stop, who doesn't take who doesn't take no for an answer, and uh, goes for what she wants in this life, including music. So that's who she is. Ooh, um, my earliest memory of singing is probably like when I was like three. My mom has this recording of me singing A Whole New World by Aladdin, which is still one of my favorite songs ever. I still sing in the shower, but that was, I mean, it's always been kind of instilled in me since I was a kid, so yeah. Ooh, that's kind of hard to like answer because I never really see myself as like separated from them, honestly, because. I feel like my peers are what kind of grounds me. You know what I'm saying? I come home and I'm with my friends and I'm grounded and they're always here for me. And you know, we're just one, like we move as a unit and I couldn't be more happy to have a family like them, honestly. Um, I feel like R&B is kind of like a box. I love R&B and I can do R&B songs, but I'm also really into like Kei Trinata, like those type of beats and even like the most outlandish stuff. I feel like I can create on anything, honestly, so. Ooh, um, I don't really, I don't, I don't really look for like that type of stuff. I feel like I'm more of the person that kind of wants to unite all the singers. I don't really like to put myself ab above everybody else because everybody got a whole different lane. There's a lot of lanes here, you know, there's room for everybody. You know, I'm just one of one. So I don't really, mm, I couldn't say that for sure. Kehlani, um, Janae Aiko. Um, I listen to a lot of old school stuff too, so like Amaya, Brandy, um, you know, those type of artists as well. Just anybody who got a good vibe, we can make some stuff on, honestly. This means a lot. Um, I kind of felt like there was something really special here a long time ago. And I, you know, I moved to Atlanta to do what I had to do there, but it just kind of also taught me, while being taught the stuff in Atlanta, of course, I'm grateful for all of that, but it kind of taught me that there really is no place like VA. Like there's just, when they say it's something in the water, it's truly something in the water that keeps everybody going. And, and honestly, when Pharrell brought that whole something in the water fest here, I think that just created a spark in everybody. You know, everybody just wanted to do what they want to do and, and they should, unapologetically too. So it's my source of inspiration. I'm inspired every day. I'm inspired just by sitting here and looking at these people. This is who I do it for, honestly. I'm in the I'm in the artist development stage right now. Um, in July, I told Ahmad and Mal, my managers, that I didn't really want to drop any more music for the rest of the year. Um, and for the reason being is like I just wanted to really hone in on my own art because you know working with people and working with you know producers and writers, it's great. It's a blessing, of course, but I really wanted to get a sense of self before I started you know dropping more stuff. So. I think the artist development stage um, is definitely crucial for where I want to go in life. And I'm by far, by all means, taking it all in and doing stuff like this is just one step at a time. Man, go, man, I always say, like, I tell, I tell my best friend all the time, like, I haven't made it until I'm helping other people. Like, this music stuff, I love it, it's my passion, and it's gonna get me to the level of me, you know, helping others with the creatives. And I always tell people, I want to, you know, put big creative stu like art studios and like hoods and where people can't really access the things that I'm able to access. Because I feel like the art is arts is just so important, especially to the youth. So I want to be able to um, to hone in on that as well, and you know, provide for the people. <laughs> well, people should listen to me because you know I'm myself. Um, I'm honest. I, you know, I do the best I can. I'm not really big on being perfect, just being authentic. I think that's the most important thing. So if you're a fan of being yourself and being authentic and doing what you got to do and making shit happen, then y'all better listen to me. Man, I love y'all. Everybody at home, hope y'all staying safe. Hope y'all staying healthy. Y'all follow me on Instagram at YoungShan. Follow me on Twitter at TheYoungShan. And, you know, I'll see y'all soon.